All right, so now that you've got your D chord together, we're gonna move on to the A chord. This chord is a little tricky, but I think you'll get the hang of it real quick. Okay, so take a look at this diagram while you watch me put my fingers into place. I'm going to take my first finger and put it on the second fret of the fourth string, and then I'm gonna put my second finger right below it on the second fret of the third string, and then my third finger right below that one on the second fret of the second string. So as you can see, they're all kind of jumbled together in this straight line. And the trick is to keep them real tight together so that they're not touching the open E string or the open A string. And if all works out, let me see if all these strings ring. Okay, so that's what you're going for. Now, in order to get this chord together, I want to talk to you about the five thingers about fingers. Okay? These five things will ensure that you're able to play that A chord. First thing is, curve your fingers like cat claws. We talked about that one already. So no Spider-Man. We want more like Wolverine and our fingers are going straight in. They're kind of like a chair, so I could like balance things on them. So they're not going too low where the pick would fall right off, right? They're going straight in like cat claws. So the second thing is only touch one string at a time. So that means if my fingers are like the cat claws, they're not going to touch the other strings. So if I was touching that one, see what happens? Or if I was touching that one, so one string at a time. Third thing is, try to get them close to the fret. Okay, so if I was back here like this, it's kind of hard, but if I move forward a little bit, right behind the fret, they ring out much easier. Okay, the fourth thing is, let's have our thumb just nice and relaxed on the back of the neck, straight. So if you were able to see through the guitar, you would see that my thumb is straight on the back of the neck, like that. And then the fifth thing is, press hard enough to make a sound. So you're really squeezing in there. If you've got a nylon string guitar like me, don't worry, just keep squeezing. You're not gonna break any skin or anything like that. You might get these indents, but it shouldn't be too hard. If you've got a steel string guitar, if you're not getting it today, take a break. Tomorrow's another day. Okay, so now that we got that A chord together, let's do some call and response. I'm gonna play something and you play it back. If you're still struggling, you wanna practice it a little longer, press pause and then come right back. One, two, one, two, me, then you. Alright, so that's the A chord. Really difficult chord. Take your time. If you're having trouble with it, just work on that D and that A for a while because in the next video, we're going to play a song that uses both those chords. We'll see you there.